So, back to why I came here before I got minorly sidetracked. Hello. Lads, I find your concern touching. I do. Yet, I've long awaited this day. So, you must forgive me, but I shall go through with it as planned. Ah! It seems my guide has arrived. Greetings. Greetings to you, White Wolf. Uh, I presume you saw my notice? <laughs> Foolish question. You're here. Thus, you must have seen it. Forgive me. I should introduce myself. Count Belladal, a great admirer of your deeds. Thanks. Not something we witchers hear often. But Count, sir, do you mean to go off with just this witcher? A right hardy fellow he is, no ponce, I'm sure. But your expedition's too risky on the whole. And not taking us with you, pardon my saying it, right daft. You exaggerate, Vilmar. I believe I can manage to survive half a day without someone there to wipe me arse in my stead. My guards lament, Witcher, but you must forgive them. Now, to get down to brass tacks, as you've no doubt gleaned from the notice, I've a rather extraordinary proposition for you. I'm a lover, Witcher, of nature. <laughs> a devotee of the wild. And Toussaint is home to several species not encountered elsewhere. I'd like you to accompany me on an expedition whose aim is to... Uh, preserve them. <clears throat> ah, yes. Uh, naturally, you'll protect me should the need arise. My ever-vigilant guards, see, will report any reckless behaviour to my wife if I get so much as a scratch. And then war will be me. All this time, I thought it was brass tax, As in, like thing where you pay a portion of your income but that it's always been brass tax the little tax I have never picked up on that ever so by preserve them you mean light them on fire right because I'm pretty good at that and I feel like you you calling me here is based on my reputation right so you must know about how I I light things on fire Count Belladol famous poultry farmer is that it <coughs> well, that was my grandpapa dear man but my trade is the wine trade. I import the finest vintages to Kavir, my homeland. <coughs> the very reason for my frequent visits to Beauclair, uh, during which I like to uh, partake of nature, let us say. Really need a witcher to uh, partake? Got guards of your own. Take them, save some coin. I could, surely. But they too deserve a bit of rest, relaxation. Right, lads? <laughs> Besides, I've plenty of coin. Coin that needs spending. Who dares stop me? Ah, so this is about a rich man, bored stiff, seeking thrills. There's also Clarissa who... Vilma, please. Who what? Uh, my daughter. I always return from my travels with some souvenir or another. She looks forward to them tremendously. <laughs> but uh, we did not meet to chat about my family. We must discuss our venture, must we not? Need some details before I can say anything. Where are we going? What am I supposed to do exactly? In the roundest terms, we shall admire the local flora and fauna. And while we do, I might preserve a thing or two. Preserve? Of this device, see? Uh, a parastysomac. It, uh, it captures, uh, likenesses. Paris says to what? It's like a movable megascope, capturing moments, transforming them into illusions, based upon which I then paint a painting. So, you want me with you, looking at animals and flowers and... Well, that's more or less what it amounts to, yes. Uh, except you will first have to track down the creatures I wish to capture. I know only the very approximate locations of their habitats. Well... And, uh, should any trouble arise, we'll have your sword at the ready, right? So, agreed? Oh my god, we're gonna play Pokemon Snap. Pretty unusual contract. I couldn't agree more, yes. And I'm prepared to pay a commensurately high fee. Don't mind if we actually talk about exactly how high that'll be first, do you? Why ever would I? Please, simply tell me how much you wish to receive. You keep telling me that you're rich. Sublime! We've a deal! 
I probably could have gone higher than that. Interesting. He seems rather not... He doesn't seem to care, honestly. All right. Doesn't seem hard. Be glad to do something pleasant for a change. Sublime. In that case, here's your map. Before coming here, I dispatched requests to several local hunters. They located the habitats of the species of interest to me and marked out their ranges on the map. Good thinking. It'll save us some time. Won't need to track. Ready to go? Yes, let's. The light seems perfect just now. Oh my god, he looks like a robot person. This is fascinating. Okay, so, we're, we're playing Pokemon Snap. Until I saw that device, I actually kind of thought that we were in the middle of a... Uh, where the hell am I right now? I thought that it, I thought he was going to ambush me, basically. I thought this was going to be a trick and that he was calling me out by name because he knew he had a grudge against me or something. But things changed a bit when this popped out because this got weird. Is this even oriented the right way? I don't know where this is on the map. Trees in, in a row and some almost like a gorge or something. Gonna have to compare, right? Unless it shows up on the map, which I doubt. Nope. Ooh. This lake could be what I'm looking at on the map. I do wish I could compare the two to, to each other. I'm looking for two lines of trees. Huh. Seems a tad clunky. Can I go back and... Nah, I can't just hit right Seems stick. I, got the map. I can't click right stick again to bring up the map. Oh, wait. Is it down... Uh, can I access it by... It's down there on the bottom. Can I access it from there? Hitting down doesn't take me to it. That's rather frustrating. It's weird that there seems to be a little quick bar down on the bottom of the screen that tells me what my recent items are, but I don't seem to be able to access the items that way. So was that the... That appears to be the lake I was looking at with the island in the middle? Huh. Well, lead. So are, is there forked paths going down to the bottom right of it? Kind of. It seems like we must be trying to go somewhere over here. It looks like it might be upside down. Not easy to compare. Ah, it's, it's such a clunky, awkward progress. I, I just want to hold them next to each other so I can tell which one's which. So I can tell for sure if it's they're oriented the right way. Ah, this is noise. Maybe I'll just stop trying. Maybe it'll just maybe the game's just gonna tell me where to go for all I know. Oh, they just get added to my map, so who gives a shit? Alright, fine. Wouldn't rather be out here with those guards of yours. <laughs> you jest. It's deliverance to emerge from under their wings. Believe me, they're overprotective. Uh, oppressively so. I wish to admire the wildlife. Preserve it. Not watch them kill it in a fit of misguided fear for my life. What if the wildlife attacks us? Then we shall have no other recourse. I do not wish to be something supper for you, but as long as they remain calm, we've no need to provoke them. It's, it's of the utmost importance to me, in fact. So it's time for Pokemon Snap. I'm sorry, I, I, like, I like locating stuff on maps. I like comparing maps and orienting things based on maps, so I was, I was happy to, for an opportunity to try to look at one, but yeah, not being able to just hold them up next to each other, I'm like, it's like, like, all right, look at this. Try to look. All right, now, now wait, wait for thirty seconds of awkward inventory management. Now look at the other map. Like, ah, oh, fuck. What was it? I lost track of it again. Like it was a lot of that, so I was not having a great time. But it turns out to be optional. This thing sounds freaky. Oh, that's a bear. That's not what we're here. We're going for a panther slayer. Let's circumnavigate the bear. We don't want to meet that thing. Map says there should be panthers around here. Stay close. Keep your eyes peeled. I've got one request, Witcher. Avoid bloodshed if at all possible. I'm. I hear you. I just don't see how that would. I don't see how avoiding bloodshed is going to be very possible. How do you avoid fighting panthers? Oh, I just slid towards that bear. How well can you avoid fighting panthers? 
Do you have any catnip? Hear that? Panthers. Frankly, I did not hear a thing. Clearly, your senses are far more acute than mine. I must rely on them. Have you ever noticed that my wizard senses don't make sound waves come out of humans' faces when they talk? That just stood out to me as a thing. We're slowly approaching. Can you... Be close enough yet? I found the panthers. Just so, you, just so we're clear. Don't need to use the witcher senses anymore. What's that? Am I supposed to investigate that or something? I can clearly see the panthers. Uh, this seems like it goes poorly for me. Is that a trap? It is. Oh! Are they in traps? Oh no. Poor guy. Damn poachers. Snares. Looks like they were hoping for a bear. The panther got caught instead. A cub. Will you help the mother? Give it a shot. Gotta calm her first. Likely to lunge at us otherwise. Brilliant. You freed her. A superb image. Brilliant. You freed her. A superb image. Brilliant. You freed her. Don't call witches heartless. This will put the light out. Parastisomax upset the animals. Better get out of here. Uh oh. I cannot abide poaching. I'm content you share my love for animals. So they get freaked out by the flash. Okay. That's something to consider. Yeah, that's rough leaving a, the trap that just leaves you there. Pretty broad interests for a man of the city. I suppose I dabble in my share of things. Wine, nature, painting. I imagine the life of a witcher must be rather more monotonous. With all due respect. It is. Never boring, though. Uh, I, for one, cannot fathom only ever consorting with the same creatures day in and day out. Got a wife? Y yes. What's that got to do with anything? Nothing. Just asking. Something you gotta consort with day in and day out. That's what he's hinting at. So I think that in some countries, I don't know if it's even mine or other countries, I know very little about the topic really, but there's supposed to be places where it's more or less illegal to- ooh, centipedes. It's supposed to be illegal to set traps and leave them and like and not check them within a certain amount of time. Because I think it's just determined to be cruelty at some point if you abandon them for long enough. Shh. Hear him. It's those... Uh... Centipedes. Giant. Underground tunnel burrowers make a distinct sound. We can use that to track them. I feel like the centipedes aren't going to be as friendly. I don't know how much I uh, can I can I calm a centipede with my magic. Is that going to work? This <laughs> I'm playing Pokemon Snap. <laughs> All it's missing is throwing apples at things for no good reason to agitate them. Or somehow evolve them. Oh, he's in a hurry. Where are you going, buddy? At some point, it would just be faster to get above ground. I feel like- I don't think anything can burrow this fast, actually. It's kind of impossible, I think, because of just the density of rock. Sounds loud and clear here. Must be near the nest. We're here. Well, this vantage point's no good. I shan't capture a good image from here. All right, wait. We'll find you a better spot that's safe, too. Tread lightly. Giant centipedes sense the softest sounds, the lightest vibrations. You wake one up, it wakes up angry. Danger, danger, danger. Up there's on top of rocks. You'll try that. This is like tremors. Or there's like stuff underground and you, they're sensing vibrations. We gotta find a nice safe spot. So I'm thinking on top of this big rocky uh, cove is probably a... Yeah, this rocky location is probably a safe spot. It overlooks everything. Here, maybe. Distance seems right. Light's not bad either. Yes, this will work perfectly. Oh yeah, this is a beautiful shot. And hopefully like 20% less deadly, I hope. Can you lure them out? Give me a minute. Need to think. <laughs> My objective is to destroy the nests. Gotta send some through the ground. I'll try tossing a bomb or casting a sign. And you watch out. Don't get any closer. Yeah, destroy the nests. 
that's not violent. That totally goes by his wishes of non-violence. Oh my goodness, they exploded. Excellent day for capturing kids. Yep, here they come. Here they come. Alright, you better freaking take your picture, dude. Things are gonna go poorly here on out. Oh, they're not happy. Alright. Oh, well he's good to go. I wonder if I can just leave the area. Will they leave, will they stop? Or will they follow us? Okay, cool. We're good. Thank you. Truly magnificent that was. We can move on now. Exhilarating. Positively exhilarating. Thank you. I have one more request. Local peacocks performing their mating ritual. I'd love to see that. Apparently, a flock dwells not far from here. We can go. Just don't count on peeping at them while they mate. Season ended a month back. Oh, that's terrible. I so wish to capture their splendorous tails in full bloom. Is there nothing you can do if they prove uneager to present? Perhaps challenge them somehow? Goad them? What did you have in mind? Don't have a tail myself, and I'm not likely to sprout one anytime soon. My thoughts were more along the lines of Witcher magic. They say you can exert influence over lesser creatures. Uh, yeah, guess I can try. Can't promise you anything, though. Splendid. Consider me contented. Uh, I cannot pinpoint the flock's location, but... A hunter I know told me a few likely spots. I'll mark them for you. All right. Let's go find some peacocks. Surprisingly tame. We're just gonna go... Oh, there's the spot. Just gonna trust the game to show me now. Lead the count to the place where the peacocks live. Okay. A bit tame compared to the last ones, huh? Panthers, giant centipedes, birds with pretty feathers. <laughs> Why peacocks? My... My... Daughter is rather fond of them. There will be a treat for her. Oh, he wants a, he wants one of the feathers, doesn't he? For the daughter's uh, the trophy she likes to have, the little trinkets. We're close. Eyes in the back of your head. I mean, if the eyes were in the back of your head, they would rather they would be rather close. All things considered, did not mean to do that. That was the wrong trigger. <laughs> what do we have? Odorous peacock feather. A feather from the rump, coated in suet. Cock shed it recently, and the suet's got a distinct scent. Ought to be able to track the flock. A witcher in action. What a treat to watch. Those are some loud noises. Well, we've got the feather he can use as a trophy now. That's something. Just sounds surreal. <laughs> oh, sound and the sound in the center set are leading me in two different directions now. Oh, never mind. We're looping back around. Shh. Hear that? They're calling to each other. Fabulous. <laughs> We're getting close. Let's go ahead and cast Quen just in case they attack me. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. But Axie's gonna be my mind my mind altering power. <laughs> this feels like some kind of, some kind of trap somehow. Oh no, those are peacocks. I couldn't quite make them out, but I thought something I thought something horrible was gonna happen here somehow. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> now if they could just splay the tails. See what I can do. Find a good spot. Ready! Use your magic, Witcher! I did. Look at the giant tail. Woo, peacocks! Woohoo! Look at all them crazy peacock tails. Look at them flapping around. Did I do it right? Oh, two out of three. Shit. Where's another one? Um. That's that's my teammate. You guys. Look at him go. 
Oh, three at once. Whoops. There we go. Look at him go. This will be a masterpiece. Smile, please. And I'm blind. Oh no. Where did they come from? Go, move. Get back. You should really move somewhere. Run away. Run away. They just go. It worked last time. Oh shit. Wow, under me. Okay, dick. Dick move. Let's throw some Eardens down. Oh, he didn't fall, quite fall for it. I'll do some damage. He's, he's not coming up inside it, is he? There we go. Yes, he's inside the zone. Don't, don't flash me when I'm fighting. You're gonna get us both killed. That's the outcome of this situation. Oh, my circle went away. Oh no, he went inside of it. Cool. Perfect. Let's put another one down real quick. Oh, right around there. Yep. This is a really bad time to be flashing me. There we go. Well, I hope you got your picture out of that. Because he was suspended. Oh, that was... That was... Tense. Uh, I believe I've had my fill of excitement for today. I believe I've got my fill of centipedes for today. What a wonderful adventure! Get everything you wanted? Yes! In that case, time to get back to your camp. Returning your lord to you, safe and sound. You've our gratitude, master. You see, lads? There was nothing to fear. Thank you, Witcher, for looking after our day count. Seems the jaunt did him wonders. Breathed some new life into him. Wait here a moment, Geralt. I have to fetch my coin pouch. Pay my dues. Fetch my coin pouch just sounds like innuendo at this point. New life? He was feeling down? Made no mention, did he? Ten years back, his last Clarissa is her name. Took a spill off her horse. Been bedridden ever since. Cannot walk of her own. She'd been the life of the house before the calamity. A merry sprite what filled every corner with joy. Count would oft take her out on trips. She loved animals too. Excursions he makes now. Or rather, paintings he brings home. They's her only window on the wider world. Sorry to make you wait. I was dead chuffed to be able to observe you in action. To confirm for myself there that the tales about you were not exaggerated in the slightest. You showed discipline, reliability, responsibility. I dare say you'd make the ideal business associate. That's a shame you've no interest in the wine trade. One day, maybe. Your reward. Use it well. Thanks. I have one other matter I wish to broach. In a few days' time, I shall exhibit my work for some friends, my coterie, so to speak. Would you come by? Why not, if I'm in the area? Splendid! In that case, I shall see you at my lodgings. I'm staying with a friend while in Tucson, near a village named Frankola. I'll be by. See you. He's got himself a tragic backstory. I'm surprised... I thought I owned a winery. Isn't that what Corvo Bianco is? I'm surprised he's responding in terms of like, shape that my like, girl's not tipping off to that at all. Isn't doesn't it count as a wine location? Yeah, vineyard. Maybe it's because I'm not quite. Maybe I just need to upgrade more about the base first for that to work properly. That's possible. So here I am creepily coming in through the trees towards this little settlement down here. It doesn't seem to have a, a name listed on it right now. But there's the little picnic he's invited me to. We'll see if anything dark comes out of that, but I might as well visit the notice board. Where? Oh, right around here. Oh no, none of these really seem like they might be quests particularly. Buying bees. I'm a beekeeper, but last year mysterious plague wiped out all my, the bees in my beehives. 
and I wouldn't stoop to stealing swarming bees. If you have bees for sale, I'll gladly buy them. Francois de Valenay, I challenge you. You lousy poe taster. I've read your lampoon ridiculing my rhyming theory, and I challenge you to a literary duel. If you have any shred of dignity or courage at all, come to the next meeting at Lady Arena's residence and have three poems prepared. We will recite in turns and then subject ourselves to the judgment of literary men and women present at the meeting. Not respectfully, as you deserve no respect, and no signature, as you very know well who wrote this message. <laughs> Armor for hire. Hey there, knight. You've traveled far uh, to our beautiful land clad in your shiny armor, and suddenly it got broken. Reasons may vary. Oh yes, you knights do like to give each other a good pounding, and your armor suffer greatly for it. Yes, a pounding. I'm, a, I'm an armor, and prices are very reasonable, especially compared to Beauclair, where you will get massively ripped off. You won't regret my services, loosening the armor. P.S. Fuck Beauclair. <laughs> to the finder. I lost the Kalkin horseshoe. The Kalkins are cone-shaped. I paid for it dearly in Bellhaven. It, uh, they don't make ones like that here. Return to me, and I shall reward you with wine. Marcel of Bassane. P.S. No, I'm not a fucking horse. That's not funny. What? Okay, announcement. The answer is no. Deal. Oh. What? Was that a response to the... Maybe that was a response to the poetry person. Hortense Vineyard is closed. During an attack from ugly creatures looking like giant centipedes, the owner of Hortense Vineyard sustained serious injuries. As the threat is still present, Hortense Vineyard will be closed until further notice. Our sincerest apologies. Alright, we've got a few markers for our, our map. Whoa, that entire building just popped in and out of existence, I think, on my screen. I think it's here for good now, though. Alright, I'm supposed to be here. I'm supposed to come here at noon. And like the creeper I am, I'm just actually going to sit here until noon now. That's not- I'm not strange. You don't get to make fun of me. Silence, I'm a witcher. I can light things on fire with my mind. Oh, that's a picnic. <laughs> the fact that it's right on me now is the funny part. Alright. Peruse the exhibit. Optional. Is this the exhibit? Seems like it is. Hey! That's the- that's the art. Oh, wow. So he took multiple, uh... He took multiple pieces of art and combined them. Oh, wait, never mind. It's because we- it's because we got attacked by a centipede while we were dealing with the peacocks. So that's me- that's me fighting alongside... Yeah, fighting alongside the, the peacocks against that surprise centipede. The white wolf taming Beauclair centipedes. <laughs> he did- He- He took a selfie? He can take a selfie? How does that work? I'm doing duck face. It's disgusting. Geralt and the Panther. Oh, that's nice. These are nice images. This is, this is a side quest. God damn it. This game's standard for side quests compared to every other video game is blowing my mind. Although the hair is wrong. Of course, the image doesn't change from image to image. So he's not wearing glasses and he's got the wrong hair, but that's fine. That's fine. Hello? Count? Okay. Oh no, there we go. I didn't have a prompt for a moment there. Both male and female Beauclair centipedes are formidable predators. The bees prefer to hunt in packs, yet the author of this extraordinary work was able to capture a lone specimen preparing to attack. Cast your eye on the hunter, who, though fully aware of the danger, wears a look of cold determination on his face as he awaits the optimal moment to strike. <clears throat> ah, Geralt, you're here. Wonderful. Come, please. I'm delighted to see you. I have a small gift for you, and I shan't let you refuse. Here you are free to sell it, of course. Though I would be honored were you to hang it in your home. Thanks. That was actually beautiful, with the panthers and everything. That's great. Still, the, th the selfie? Really? <laughs> Good crowd. You got a lot of friends. All of them seem to be fawning over your paintings, too. Oh, when you have as much coin as I do, friends buzz around like flies on fresh meat. 
And they praise you to high heavens for each trip, burp and sneeze. Not all are lying sycophants, that's not what I mean. Just most, unfortunately. Why bother? Why even invite them around? I'm a man of enterprise. I must put my trade before any personal hatreds or sympathies. Besides... Besides? At times, I'll exhibit a completely failed painting just to listen to them twist their tongues into knots trying to find just the right superlatives to lather on smeared rubbish. Naturally, the more intent someone is to get into my good graces, the louder they praise my masterpiece. It's devilish fun, I tell you. That's kind of great that he just, he makes some mistakes and screws up his art and then puts it out there anyway just to hear people talk about it. As shown by the part where that person was just giving the, uh, that person was just presenting the art of his stupid duck face. <laughs> Talked to your guards back at the camp. Told me about Clarissa. Sorry to hear about her accident. Thank you. Kind words that mean a great deal to me. How's Clarissa these days? Probably can't wait for you to get back. <laughs> to get her gifts, you mean? I've dispatched two already. She'll not need to wait for my return. En route home, I mean to pass through Dol Blathana. They say one can see Sylvans there. Yeah, actually happened to know one. Name's Torque. He can be mean, but for the right fee, he'll do anything you ask. Splendid. I thank you for the hint. Tell him I send my regards. Nice meeting you. So long now. This is a nice little sort side thing. What's crazy is that, like, there's already the mission itself, which was multiple little, like, little journey around there with the unique asset of the weird, like, photo helmet that he had. But on top of that, he's like, ah, you know, thanks for your help. And you can do, at that point, it's either, like, goodbye, or maybe you go to his picnic, or maybe you don't. Like, you could shoot, you'd opt not to. And if you do, you see these three paintings. So, like, the, uh, <laughs> presumably CD Projekt Red, uh, commissioned someone to paint four paintings for the optional part of their optional quest. Like, the, like it's double optional at that point. Triple optional at the point of the freaking expansion. You have, to, you have to go to the expansion, you have to do the side quest, and then you have to opt to do the extra thing after the side quest to then see the paintings that they get, that they had somebody make that otherwise would be would go unnoticed. And that one that I get from my house looks pretty great. Now there's a nice empty spot for a painting. Ancient Elven Shield, uh -huh. or the the Ravix of Fourhorn Shield, or the White Wolf. That's nice. Let's see if we can get the camera in there. Can't get that much in there, but it's a uh, it's this red image that has images of peacock and panther and centipedes, and then on the other side you got Geralt with his sword drawn. It looks amazing. Nice thing to have on the wall there. I guess I can light it up a little better than that. Oh yeah. Welcome home. 